Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I'm going to do some restoration work on the image that is here on our screen. It's a very nice clear face, which is fantastic, but as you can see right now, it's a terrible piece of garbage. It's in this triple terrible frame of vignetting plus a paper frame plus another paper frame. So we're going to take care of all of that. We're going to clean up every little spot and speck that's on the image, and then we're going to colorize it. All of these steps are going to be involving AI, with the exception of the first step, which is going to be to jump in here right away and crop this image. So I'm going to bring it in here, here. I want to hold on to as many pixels as possible. And I want to straighten him up at the same time we're doing this. Do something like that. Bring it down to here and up to about there. Let's see what this looks like. That's not looking too bad. He's well centered in the frame now. We got rid of all the garbage that was around him. So now it is time to get in here with the remove tool. And in this case, we'll make the nice and big and just take care of this spot that's up there. See if we can take care of that. And then there are a number of blemishes up here. So my intention is not to separate him from the background and then create a new background for him. Right now, the shadows and everything on this are great. So I'm just going to clean up the bad areas, the little spots. And I think that that's going to end up with a nice result for us. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of all these little spots. And I'm going to speed things up here so that you don't have to wait through each <laughs> spot healing. Great, that cleaned things up wonderfully. And the area that I was most concerned about was this upper corner and that it might create too many little holes in the background, but it actually did a really nice clean job. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take care of this hair, a little bit here, and then here on the sides, just because it's distracting. Wonderful, he's looking fantastic now. So the next step, I think, is going to be to bring some color into his world. So I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to change it from RGB color to grayscale so that we're losing all of that sepia tone and maintaining the natural highlights and shadows. And then I'm going to change it back to RGB color just to keep things on track. Now I'm going to export it quickly as a PNG and go ahead and accept this. Great. So now I'm going to jump over to the website Palette FM and we're going to upload our image there so that it can go into work and start colorizing the image for us. So I'm going to select a couple of different color palettes here so that we get an idea of what Palette FM can do, but also so that we have some options. And let's jump all the way back to the beginning because I bet we have some that are ready here. So base palette, that's actually very nice. That would be a contender right away, I think. It would be nice if the background wasn't completely blue. Let's try this one. Not bad, except that there's some over tinting, some iridescent sort of tinting happening. And then up here at the end, we have vintage charm, which also looks very nice, natural skin tones, but there's some red that's popping through here for no reason and the same down the lapel there. Here on Ambient Historic, that's also nice. So I'm going to say it's a toss up between that and the original base palette. I think in the end I'm going to take base just because it's nicely balanced. I think that it does make him stand out and feeling a bit lazy. I don't want to get in there and start modifying the color and textures of clothing. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and we're going to open this up now in the Photoshop. And what we will find is that this is actually a fairly low resolution image. And we have over here a relatively high resolution image. Relative. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy the entire thing. 
and paste it into a new layer here on our high resolution version. Then I'm going to transform and snap it up to that corner, snap it down to this corner, accept it. And then I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to color. And so in that way, we're going to change, take the color information from that new layer, but we're not holding on to that lower resolution. So that really improves things. So there we go. In the end, we have a nice looking gentleman considering where we started with that damaged piece of paper on top of another damaged piece of paper. He was just looking absolutely terrible. Now we've got him looking pretty good. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And with that, I will see you the next time.